although I'm not undone, hello to Brazil. Finally, the firmware update 4.0 for Sony's FX6 has been released and it's a mixed bag. I'll focus on the two most important features for me, anamorphic D-squeeze and file naming. The other updates are less interesting to me. In the monitor menu, you'll now find the submenu D-squeeze, offering options to D-squeeze by 1.3 times or 2 times. Unfortunately, similar to the FX3's update, only those two factors are available. It's a pity that Sony doesn't allow us to set a custom D-squeeze factor, especially considering their exemplary approach in this regard when it comes to aspect ratio markers. There, you can tailor your preference when your desired aspect ratio isn't among the presets. That's not possible here, but it's still an improvement over having nothing at all. Another important note, the D-squeeze is always output via HDMI, except when you're recording external RAW. So if you want to see the D-squeeze on the viewfinder, but not on the HDMI output for some reason, that's not possible. Also, the D-squeeze is never displayed via SDI. Confused? I'll try again. If the D-squeeze is enabled in the camera, it's always visible over HDMI, except when RAW is output, and it's never visible over SDI. By the way, clips recorded internally by the camera are never de-squeezed. Overall, room for improvement. The feature I've been waiting for the most is clip naming, and it's now possible, though not exactly as I expected. Previously, you could only input a prefix, followed by a four-digit clip number. Now you can switch from the previous title to cam ID and real. Under cam ID, you can choose a letter from A to Z, under real number, a number between 1 and 999, and for the camera position, C, L or R. The file names then look like this. In this case, 23 represents the year, 08 the month and 18 the day. By the last two digits, I'm a bit confused. With ARRI, these represent the camera ID, but they're always the same for the same camera. With Sony, they seem random. Blackmagic's file naming is different, starting with the real, followed by the date, without the year, but with the time, and clip number in the end. Sony's FX3 had clip naming options for a while, but it offers more choices, like title and date. Here, for example, a customizable prefix with the current date, including the year, and a four-digit clip counter. As you can see, everyone has kind of their own approach. Personally, I'm not completely satisfied. I don't know about you, but I prefer the clip counter at the end to avoid searching in the middle of a file name. A mostly complete date is useful, but random digits at the end are not. If you have any idea about the purpose of those two digits, please let me know. Here are the other changes in firmware 4.0. I'm very glad Sony is becoming more generous with firmware updates, but it feels somewhat half-hearted, with features added only on the surface. Let's hope Sony continues this path and makes more substantial improvements. As always, if there are news or updates on this topic, you'll find them in the pinned comment.